In this video, I will show you how to use the watercolor Photoshop action. First of all, make sure that you use the English version of Photoshop. After that, go to Image, then Mode, and make sure that you have checked the RGB color and 8-bit channel. The last thing you have to check before starting the action is to go to Layer Panel, then to Panel Option, and make sure that Add Copy to copy the layers and groups is checked. Now that we are done with preparation, let's move on to how to use the action. After you open the Photoshop, go to File, Open, and open your image. Make sure that the image is set on background. If it's not set on background, go to New Background from Layer. I recommend you to use images with a resolution of 300 pixels and a size between 2000 and 5000 pixels. Now let's open the watercolor action. For that go to file, open and open the action. or go to Action Panel and load them from there. The last thing you have to open in Photoshop is the brushes. For that go to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and hit the Load button. Please check the opacity of the brushes to be on 100% as well as the flow. It's time to make a new layer above background. Rename it Brush and do not use Caps Lock. For the next step, select the round soft brush and brush in the brush layer over areas that you want to be in focus. You can use any color for this or even another method of selection. It is up to you. After your selection is ready, make sure that your opacity is up to 100 and then click on the play button. Now wait a few minutes until the rendering is complete. After your render is complete, this message will pop up on your screen. Just press the stop button and you are done. You can leave the results as it is or you can improve them. I will show you how to do that. Let's close all the groups by holding down the Alt button and clicking on Watercolor Effect Group. Here is a comparison before and after. First thing I will recommend you to do is to reveal a little from the original image because in some cases the watercolor effect it might be too much. For that click on show original photo mask and brush over your focus element with white. In this case, the face of the pirate is the focus element.
Keep in mind that you can change anything here. You can turn on and off any layer. Now I will show you what the difference can make just by making invisible only one group. Let's say that I want to change the watercolor group. For example, I think that watercolor 4 group is too much for me. I will fade by brushing over the effect in the mesh channel with black. Just some areas, not everywhere. Another group that you can turn on for a different look is the paint area group, as you can see. Use the mass channel everywhere, it will help you a lot. In the textures group, you have two textures. One is a canvas texture. You can change the opacity if you want a stronger effect. And the other texture is the noise. The last group is adjustments. Here you can improve your image even more. Try different settings with the color tint or turn it completely off. Same for the rest of the layers. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me and I will help you with everything I can. Bye.